Freedom of the press comes with an enormous responsibility to the public. But the media has been abusing that freedom. Fake news can plunge this country into anarchy and unrest and even a civil war. Journalists are dragging the president's name through the mud with all sorts of allegations. So this nation can't afford to lose faith in its leader. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be needing the password to your laptop. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Don't underestimate my resolve to get that password. So spare yourself the pain and humiliation of soiling yourself. What's the password? I'll give you a hint. It's two words. The first one is fuck, and the second one is you. I lost concentration there for a second. You were saying something? Your teeth are the password. Wait, 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 wait. I need to think about it for a bit. I need to think about it. I might need a few days. <laughs> Fuck you! Don't just fucking stand there! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You cocky bastard. Where's the sarcasm now? Huh? What's the password? Uh. This is the time when even the toughest men piss themselves. Oh. <laughs> Fuck your boss, That's enough. You were given strict orders to not help this man. I was just softening him up for questioning, that's it. He won't be of any use if his brain's dead, you idiot. <laughs> what the hell are you laughing about? Make yourself useful and go get me something to eat. This man needs water. He's a prisoner, not a guest. I should make him drink his own piss. If you want to keep your job, then I suggest you be more helpful.
You can be lucky. You're the governor's nephew. Pursuing the story. What are you doing here? Nixon. I thought you'd be out of the country by now. Then go away. This is my home. Look at me. Look at me. I'm going through all of this shit so that I can buy you enough time to get the hell out of this country. I don't know how much more this shit can take, man. You need to leave now. At least let me help you get the story out. Taken care of it. How? The less you know, the safer you are. Now go. It hasn't been safe for me since the first day I gave you information. You are going to fuck everything up. Get out of here. You're the one who's wasting time now. What's the password? I need to make damn sure that all the risks I've taken for you haven't been for nothing. ART. Five, four, three, two, underscore, ZIMU. Any progress? No, 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 no. Nixon, what's going on? Look at me, what are you doing? Give it to the colonel. I'll give him a full debriefing later. But for now, stop this. Tell him I recommend a full media blackout. Starting with the internet. Shit. Dixon, what are you doing? I was caught trying to smuggle out more information for you. He threatened to kill my family and make me watch if I didn't help him. What, what was I to do? <laughs> Source right under my nose for months. I had no choice to make an example out of Nixon and send a very clear warning to anyone else who gets the idea of working with the press. <laughs> the cloud. The cloud. <laughs> what cloud? <laughs> hmm. What cloud? I backed up all my work online. I can share it with anyone I know in real time. In fact, when I was getting arrested, my editors were reading my story. If that was true, you'd have spared yourself the agony. I just need to buy some time for my sources so they can go into hiding. You've given them a head start. But I will find them. 
them. You should be more concerned about what the president is going to do to you when he reads my story. <laughs> you are having a mental breakdown. Extreme pain does that to a man. If you think I'm crazy, then you better turn on the radio and listen. <laughs> regular scheduled programming with an important news bulletin. President Elanga has cut short his visit to Europe following the publication of an article implicating him in the Kagambe village massacre. It's believed that a COVID hit squad had been given orders directly by the president to carry out the killings. In a statement released by the presidency, opposition parties are being accused of using the media to discredit President Elanga ahead of the national elections. We now return to our regular... <laughs>